in this session let us go for the option called change dimension so far we were seeing that in order to change any of the properties regarding the dimensions after changing the dimensions properties from element dimensions option we had to delete the existing dimensions and then create a new dimension set which would have the properties which we had changed that is now suppose I want to change the color of the text over here so I'll go over here element dimensions option and the text option I'm going to change the color to some other color in this way and the height and width let it be set to 1 in this way now I'll close this but in order to see those effects so far we were creating the dimension again that is select this and click over here and this dimension which you get now would have the required properties but in order to change the existing dimensions you can use this option change dimension click on this and click on the dimension which you want to change click on this and left click to accept again and in this way we have changed the color of the text see over here color of the text has changed whatever properties we had applied in the dimensions option over here those properties can be applied to the existing dimensions by using the change dimension option for example over here I'm going to delete the existing dimensions and create a few more dimensions select it place it over here place it in this way in this way and like this okay after changing all these sorry after creating all these dimensions next we will go over here element dimensions option and over here this particular option can be used to change a lot of settings related to dimensions a few of them are we can change the color of the text we can change the color of the dimension lines this vertical line over here which has the arrows is called the dimension lines and the lines which extend from the drawing that is from the geometry to the text or to the dimension line are called the extension lines these horizontal lines over here which extend from the geometry to the dimension lines are called the extension lines and the dimension lines are the lines on which the text is placed the dimensions are placed so we can change properties related to or we can change the attributes related to the dimension lines the extension lines as well as the text over here I'll go with element dimensions option select over here the dimension lines and the color I'm choosing it to be yellow and we can in the same way we can change the line types as well say I'll change this line style over here to style number 5 we can even change the line width or line weight over here and same way for the extension lines I can choose some other color Check color number 37 and the style would be this dotted style number 1 now I'm going to close this after making all those changes in order to edit the existing dimensions or in order to apply those effects to the existing dimensions we can click on change dimension option and click on the dimensions which you want to change then left click at the end to accept the existing dimensions in this way you have changed the colors you have changed the line styles basically all the attributes related to the dimensions this is the dimension line color is magneta color number 36 it's not clearly visible but in this way we can change these properties of the existing dimensions similarly we can go for the next option over here called match dimension attributes match dimension attributes is used in order to restore the existing or the default values of the dimensions I'll select match attributes and click on this dimension and left click outside select this and left click outside
I'll change it over here element dimensions say let us change a few more settings over here and you can see the dimension lines the extension lines all those properties have been changed from now on whatever dimensions I'm going to create those dimensions are going to appear in the default value select this and click on this line even earlier you had seen whenever you are placing these dimensions the dimension text as well as the arrow sizes was huge the same values or the default values which are saved preset over here can be reapplied or this particular option my dimension attributes acts like resetting of your dimension properties after you click on this now whenever you are creating any new dimensions those will come with the default values if you want to change the existing value existing dimensions again click on this option and click on this left click to accept click on this left click to accept in this way you can change the existing dimensions you can create new dimensions using the original settings as well okay so these are all the options related to the dimension or dimensioning of a particular drawing now after we have seen how to dimension a particular drawing now let us go for the toolbars such as manipulate and modify first we'll be going for the manipulate toolbar the manipulate toolbar over here can be used for creation of copies that is to copy one object from one place to another place as well as move and then move parallel that is similar to your offsetting the next one is scale let us go for the first one that is copy option first I'll select the entire drawing which I want to copy after selecting the entire drawing then I'll click on the copy option when you click on the copy option over here you get this copy element dialog box I'm going to enter the first point over here after which comes the insertion point the first point is nothing but like your base point which is used to insert the drawing at some other distance say I want to move this or I want to create another copy of the same image with the dimensions at a distance of 100 so I'll move it horizontally in this direction and type in the 100 value over here enter and left click in this way you can keep on creating as many number of copies as you want I'll move in this direction this time and vertically downside I'll be going for a distance of 70 enter and left click that is how we are going to place this whatever values you are entering in your acute draw these values are with respect to the previous point that is for example now if I want to place it over here in this direction again I need to give the value from this particular point to the destination point so till over here it was approximately 100 which we had taken earlier 100 enter and left click that is how you can use the copy command wherein you will be copying one object and creating any number of instances as you want similar to this we have the next option called the move command the only difference between both of them is when I click on move command it will not create a copy it will behave or it will act just like the one which we have seen previously that is similar to your copy command I'm selecting this entire drawing go back to your move option and click the first point let me choose the first point this time over here and now in this direction I'm going to move it to a distance of 120 enter and left click so we have replaced this or repositioned it horizontally a distance of 120 that is your move option the rest of the options let us continue in our next session